I'm so excited about today's video because this is my very favorite craft that I've made and I can't wait to put it in my baby's room. It's so simple to do, I'm excited to show you, so let's get started. The supplies you're going to need are three canvases, and you can really pick any size canvas that you would like. I wanted this a little bit bigger, so I went with the larger canvas. You're going to need a pair of scissors, some E6000, some chalk. I'm using a white paint pen, but you could also use just white paint and a paintbrush. Some blue paint, and again, this is optional. I liked keeping it blue because those are the colors of my baby room and the color of the sky. But if you want it to match your baby's decor, you could definitely use a different color. And this is Bluebird. You're going to need a sponge brush to paint your canvas and a piece of white paper to make your paper airplane. The first thing we're going to do is paint all three canvases blue. You're going to need two or three coats of paint, and I've already painted three so they're good to go. And before we get to that, I'm going to show you how to fold our paper airplane. All right, I'm just starting with a regular eight by 10 piece of white paper. I'm going to fold that in half, hot dog way. Is that what you call it, hot dog? <laughs> All right, and then open that up. And we're going to take one of our corners here at the top and we're going to fold it over to this center fold. And do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to take this top piece and we're going to fold it over. And then we're going to take this corner up here and we're going to fold it over to the crease. And do the same thing on the other side. All right, and then we're going to fold that in half. and fold down each side. Then you have the perfect size little paper airplane. And then what I did after that was I grabbed my E6000 and I'm just going to glue it together here in the middle. And you can use any type of glue. I just had this on hand. All right, once our paper airplane is glued together, we're just going to cut this back piece off so that it lays flat on our canvas. Right, and then we'll just set that aside and grab our canvases. Okay, we have all three of our canvases and we're just going to lay them next to each other.
And using our chalk, we're going to draw the path that our paper airplane is going to take. So that's why we want all three canvases together so you can see where the pattern goes and it all goes together on all three. I'm going to start this one up here. And then right here, we're going to want to leave room for our paper airplane. Okay, and if you're happy with your airplane path, you can grab your paint pen and go over the chalk. If you don't like how it turned out, that's why I use a chalk, because you can just wipe it off and start over. All right, next we're going to grab our E6000 and our paper airplane and we're going to glue it down at the bottom. All right, and that is it for our airplane canvas art. I hope that you guys were able to follow along with me. I would love to know if you guys tried this craft. I can't wait to hang it above my baby's crib. I'll be sure to take pictures and post them on Instagram. If you recreate these, I would love if you sent me pictures on Twitter and Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.